Hi, I'm Dr. Scholz. Let's talk about prostate cancer. In this video, we're going to cover color Doppler imaging of the prostate gland. The idea is to get clear pictures of what's going on inside and immediately surrounding the prostate gland. When talking about color Doppler ultrasound, one naturally contrasts it with the standard grayscale ultrasounds that are used to perform random 12-core biopsies. Those sorts of ultrasounds are far more crude and really only see the borders of the prostate accurately, enabling the urologist to make sure that the needles actually hit the prostate. Color Doppler ultrasound has a, a much more refined image that enables the doctor, a trained doctor, to see potential spots of cancer inside the gland. The color Doppler, of course, also can see increased blood flow, which can be another sign of a cancer. This is an office procedure. It may take 10 minutes, 15 minutes. The operator, usually a physician, will be positioned behind a patient who's laying on their left side with their knees drawn up toward their uh, abdomen. Some lubricant is placed on the rectum, and a probe, a little bigger than my thumb, is placed about this far into the rectum, and it's right on the surface of the prostate gland. This then allows images to be thrown up on a screen, and, and when we perform it, we provide a screen for the patient as well, so they can see uh, the actual images that the doctor is obtaining with this instrument. Color Doppler ultrasound can be used for prostate cancer screening in men that have somewhat elevated PSA levels. The imaging itself can see an abnormality, perhaps an area, a dark spot, or an area of increased blood flow that would be characteristic of cancer. Another advantage of color Doppler imaging is that the overall size of the prostate gland can be accurately measured. And its relationship, the size of the gland's relationship, with how elevated the PSA is can be used to determine whether that high PSA is more likely from cancer or from the glands enlargement. This, is, this concept is called PSA density. You can't get a PSA density without an imaging study, either color Doppler imaging or perhaps a multiparametric MRI. So color Doppler, which is an easy office procedure, can measure the size of the gland and allow your physicians to calculate the PSA density. For diagnosing, color Doppler ultrasound can be used to guide a targeted needle biopsy into that area of suspicion. This represents a substantial upgrade from random biopsies, where men must undergo 12 or more needle biopsies. With a color Doppler ultrasound, a person can be diagnosed with one or two or perhaps three biopsies. For staging prostate cancer, the size of the, the abnormality, the location, and whether there's any growth of the tumor through the capsule or into the seminal vesicle can be determined with this sort of imaging. And lastly, for men with known prostate cancers that are on surveillance, the size of these tumors can be measured with calipers and if there's any change in the size of the tumor over time with sequential scans, every six months, every 12 months, or if there's an increase of blood flow, both of these things could suggest some tumor progression. Color Doppler ultrasound requires skillful expertise to get accurate results. But how do you know if the person doing the scan has those skills? It is difficult to know, but you can inquire about their training and I think it's important also to ask about how often they're using this. In my opinion, to re retain the skills necessary, the doctor or the technician doing this procedure should be doing this probably every day of the week. If they're doing this once a week or once a month, it's probably impossible to maintain the type of skills necessary to get accurate results. It's not uncommon for me to be asked to compare color Doppler ultrasound with multiparametric MRI. Is one of them more accurate? Is one of them better? 
If you're only going to do one, which one would I do? There are so many differences between these two different scans that it's hard to compare them head to head. Ultrasound or color Doppler ultrasound is more convenient. It's much quicker. It's certainly easier to do a targeted biopsy. MRI, on the other hand, has become more widespread across the country and the interpretation has become more uniform and the training has become more intensive. MRI also has certain advantages for detecting high-grade disease that aren't available with color Doppler. So if it's a simple go, no go, cancer, no cancer question, I think that MRI probably beats color Doppler. If it's for ongoing convenience of monitoring, if it's for ease of obtaining a targeted biopsy, I think color Doppler beats out MRI. As you can see, color Doppler ultrasound can be very useful and helpful for diagnosing, staging, and monitoring prostate cancer. The drawbacks are that not many centers have the necessary expertise to do it properly. So in, please ensure that if you pursue this type of imaging, that you double check the credentials and ensure that the center is qualified to do this type of imaging. To learn more about prostate cancer, you can subscribe to our channel or visit PCRI.org.